Welcome back, pro wrestling fans. Welcome back, IWC. You are live, live to tape. Oh, fuck it, you guys get it. Here on Guardian of Chaos, the YouTube channel, on Chaos Corner for AEW Revolution. The last two matches were bangers, and they saved this pay-per-view. It is 11.25 Eastern Standard Time. It's the main event. Sting's last match in front of over 16,000 fans in the Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina. I'm glad you guys have been here for the whole show. We started at about 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, time, as I said, as Darby and Sting get introduced right now. It's 11.25 Eastern Standard Time. This is four. The AEW World Tag Team Champions Championships. And, of course, Sting's last match. Let's see if he comes down from the rafters. Who knows? The EVPs, Matthew and Nicholas Jackson. The Young Bucks are already in the ring. Special timekeeper, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And, of course, who came out? Woo! First, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. So all the luminaries are here. All the players, all the stars, again, the final showtime of Sting. When he debuted in the 80s, I was probably in my middle to later 20s and spent my whole career watching Sting as he's a few years older than me now and about to retire. So it's a privilege and honor for me to be here for this, for his whole career. For all of you young G's out there from the OG, one man, unique, unedited, unscripted, raw dog for you, the fans. Now, this is the ninth matchup for the main card. There's been 11 all over, a concluding zero hour. The last match was unbelievable. And I'll save that to say this. Samoa Joe retains the AEW Heavyweight Championship in a three-way over Hangman Page and Swerve Strickland. Before that, an unbelievable bout, Will Ospreay went over on Takeshka and the Callis family. Unbelievable matchup. And now, the final match of the evening. It's been a solid pay-per-view. This will make it all worth it. And again, the last couple of matches have been incredible. Christian Cage retained his title. Eddie Kingston retained his title. Tony Storm retained her title. Roddy Strong defeated Orange Cassidy for his title. FTR lost again as the best tag team in this in this uh, company in AEW to the BCC. Again, fans, take it for what it's worth. And of course, we know the eight-man scramble went to Wardlow, who will be facing Joe in the future for the heavyweight championship, whenever that's going to happen, as they show highlights of Sting's career here, the final showtime. And I'm glad you guys have been here. Much love and respect. I've said that. Drop an elbow on that like button. Get us in the algorithm. I hope you had a good time tonight. Coming from an insider, one man unique, as I said. Unscripted. I'll say it again, Raw Dog. After this, around midnight in about 35 minutes from now, 40 minutes, I will be up to moderate over on Off the Script with JD and the Shy Town Smart Heel Jesse. So this isn't over by a long shot. And again, I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Shout out to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because without him, none of this would be possible. And if he's for us, no one else can be against us. Stay physically, mentally, emotionally, and, phys and spiritually fit. In 2024, border invasion, illegal immigration, war, racial division, politics, economics, the planet, the universe, natural disasters, good versus evil, crime, and what's going on. Use your discernment. Head on a swivel. Tomorrow is not guaranteed for any of us. So I just want to put that out there. If he's for us, no one could be against us. So as we enter the final match of a spiritual man himself, Steve Borden, Sting, defending the tag team titles. It's showtime here at Chaos Corner. Okay? And according to Sting, it's showtime for the last time. 
but not here. I will continue my journey 40 years watching the legend, Hall of Famer. You heard him. Let's do this. <laughs> so here we go. By the time Stinger, it's Sting, gets to the ring, it's going to be about a, it's going to be 11:30 Eastern Standard Time. This match, I'm saying, will go a good 15 to 20 minutes. Who knows? Stinger in the old USA red, white, and blue. Uh, a jacket with the red tassels, the stripes across, the stars on the blue, the white stars. And uh, we have a NWO red sting. Is that his son? It looks like his son dressed up as the NWA Wolfpack sting. What's going on here? The USA sting? The NWA Wolfpack Sting. And now it looks like we have a third Sting. This is an extravaganza, a bonanza. So they got me for a quick second there. There's three Stingers. And here's the original. That's got to be his two sons, if he has two. Or the son and the friend that got jumped by the Young Bucks on Dynamite. Remember when they bloodied up Darby in the white suits? And there's Sting as the crow's face. What an entrance. Here it is. An AEW record of 28 and 0 since he's been there. High risk maneuvers. And the three Stingers. Damn good entrance. I like it. It's got to be his son and his son's best friend. The USA Stinger, the Wolfpack Stinger, and the it's Crow Stinger. And they're all going to the ring. Darby Allen meets him halfway up the ramp, and Darby has really grown on me. This is it. It is showtime for the last time. You could listen to the crowd. 16,000 people, standing room only capacity. The Young Bucks are outside of the ring right now. Nick and Matt Jackson. Matthew and Nicholas, excuse me, the EVPs. Uh, both wearing uh, vests. Oh, and here goes Darby, suicide dive out on both Jacksons, right to rip it up, right from the start. Inside, the crowd is hot. Sting in the all black with the Stinger insignia, the scorpion on his black trunk. Oh, here we go, double side. Oh, big splash in the corner by Darby and Sing. Reversal. I said Sing. I meant Sting. Konnichiwa. And again, they're allowing the uh, other Stings to be ringside, and now they're interfering. It is a tornado match, so anything goes. I get it. USA Stinger, splash in the corner. Wolfpack, splash in the corner on Nicholas Jackson. Darby Allen now. The original Sting. And then on the other side, on Matthew and Nicholas. I don't know which one. Everybody getting their turns. Again, a little corny here. I get it. But this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. So it's literally right now uh, four on two. Three Stingers and Darby Allen against the EVPs. So again, I'm not sure if I like this. I get it. It's a one-time gimmick match, retirement match to get even. I understand. I get it. But they're all still in the ring here as a tornado match against the EVPs. And now going for the double stinger lock. Reversing on the Jacksons. Matthew and Nicholas, the double stinger. There it is, the double sharpshooter, so to speak. Are they going to tap out? Is this going to be Is this how it's going to end? It can't be. And they broke it up. And again, the other fake stingers are still in the ring. I'm not sure if I'm liking this part right now. I got to be honest. It's a little corny and over the top for me. Can we get a regular fucking match here for a guy who's done so good in AEW? I'm not liking this. Now they're outside of the ring. Sting and Darby taking over on the Jacksons. The Young Bucks. I, didn't, I, I liked it to begin with the entrance. The one little time to begin with, I get it. But let's hope it doesn't carry on. A little corny to begin with. I'm a little disappointed in that. Say what you want. It's a one-time catch. Come on. I give you the good, the bad, and the fucking ugly on this channel. Remember that. Outside of the ring. Now, tornado match. Obviously, anything goes. You see him sitting up. Now, chair shots by the Stinger on the Young Bucks. 
and USA Sting setting up a table in the all red outfit. I believe that's Matthew Jackson. Table set up all over the place by Wolfpack Sting, USA Sting. And then Stinger throws Nicholas Jackson into the crowd. Ringside. Setting up all kinds of tables. Again, I'm not like I'm not liking this part of the match. And there goes Matthew over the bearer by uh, barrier by the original Sting. Both Jacksons are in the crowd right now over the barriers. USA Sting. Wolfpack Sting. Tables everywhere. Darby with ladders. Uh, not liking this presentation. Let me stop being negative. Not liking this presentation with the other two four Stingers in there. Son or not. Big slam by Stinger on uh, Matthew Jackson. Jackson's taken over on Stinger outside a little bit. Again, weapons everywhere. Tables, ladders, chairs. Back body drop by Stinger. Darby top rope going for the coffin drop early. Bang! And he hits the coffin drop on both of Young Bucks. Darby is certainly one six, son of a bitch. No? Yes? Leave a comment, will you? It's the main event. It's 11.35 Eastern Standard Time. Chant and Darby again. Uh, the USA Sting's a big dude. Uh, and, uh, and the and uh, the NWA Wolfpack Sting is is uh, not as thick and big as USA Sting, but certainly much taller. Breaking out glass now, Sting. Here we go with glass. This is how Stinger's going out in this kind of match, I guess, huh? A weapons match, more or less. I don't know. Jim Ross saying, ah, taking things a little bit too far. I got to agree with you, uh, good old JR. I know how you really feel. So uh, uh, this is getting a little crazy, a little over the top. I'm a little disappointed thus far. Started off hot, setting up the glass on uh, on the uh, chairs here. Again, a little over the top, a little a little corny here for Sting's final match. I would have liked them have gone out more of a traditional way, more of a solid wrestling way. I'm just giving it to you like the way I see it. All men are outside of the ring. Sting has the bat now in his hand. The other stingers are there, the faw stingers, the fake stingers, if you will. So I could say right now, this part, predetermined and fake. Yeah, I could finally say it now, right? Both uh, EVPs, both Hardly Boys, both Young Bucks, both Jacksons running into the crowd right now, and Sting and Darby are going after them. Here we go. It's going up into the crowd of Greensboro. Not what I expected from their final bout. I get it. This stinger has been high risk, doing jumps off balconies, a uh, uh, high risk taker because he teams with the younger generation stinger, so to speak, and Darby Allen. So Sting has adjusted his ways to Darby, and he's been doing all this crazy shit at 63 years old. Again, only three years older than me. You won't catch me doing that unless I'm doing it for my life. I still got the thumb game, but not for this, no matter how much money you're paying me. Now, they're into the crowd. They're backstage. Again, I'm going to say it. I'm a little disappointed right now in this main event all over the place in Sting's final match. I was expecting something a little more traditional, a little more honorable, but I shouldn't have because of Darby Allen's style. Really a little disappointed here. i got to try not to end up with negativity because I'm having a good time. At n no chemical substance or alcohol needed. Straight edge. It's how we got to be with discernment in this day and age. Stay sober. Oh, and, the, and, and Nicholas Jackson with oh, oh, off the ramp, uh, uh, DDT uh, into the table with Darby Allen. High risk. You guys going to go out and killing yourselves like this. Darby Allen, this is what he's used to. I'm not going to sit here. Oh, you're not going to walk when you're 30, 35. We'll see. I'm not here to judge. I got my own in injuries from the bumps I've taken. And that was as a manager. That's right. Took the fucking bumps. Stinger setting up Matthew Jackson. Gouging the eyes of the Stinger. One of my favorite maneuvers back in the day as a manager. And now Sting's going to go off the stage. Setting him up into a suplex. Matthew Jackson. And he hits it off the stage through a table. Sting, what the fuck are you doing? How unnecessary is this? Darby Allen, I understand that. But Stinger, you? Off the stage through a table suplex. At 60-something years old in your final retirement matches, is this what you want to do? 
for TK, for Darby Allen, for AEW. This this is what we're doing here. The same way uh, Darby Allen went a, a, a sit-out suplex through two tables on the other side off the platform by by uh, Nicholas Jackson. High risk. The fake stingers. All this. Uh, again, I'm I'm not real happy about this. You guys say what you want. It's my opinion. It's my channel. You don't like to change the fucking channel, but I'm disappointed in this. I really am. I'm I'm a little disappointed. A little disappointed. 11.40 Eastern Standard Time here at Chaos Corner in the lounge. We're 15 minutes in here to the main event from Sting's entrance. Setting up the huge, it's got to be what, a 20-footer, 25-footer ladder. Again, tornado match. You might as well call it a hardcore match, a weapons match. This is not what Sting did throughout his career. He may have done some crazy things in his 28 or 30 matches here in AEW. But uh, I would have liked to have seen a more traditional bow. I know I'm repeating myself. I get it. I'm, I'm coming down here from the high of the last two matches. A little more methodical here. Crowd on their feet. But a, oh, a big uh, double power slam by the Jacksons of the Young Bucks on Darby into the ladder. Throwing power bombs, so to speak, and playing to the crowd. Are you going for the titles or no? Or is this about punishment? You want the World Tag Team titles or not? Again, I'll never understand that part of the storytelling. Emotional investment, ring psychology. Uh, I'm, I'm just telling you. That's just my, my, my point of view. Darby now taking over on both Jacksons in the ring. Sting is nowhere to be found. What a beautiful maneuver cutter by Darby Allen. Quick slaps. This kid is an amazing, phenomenal risk taker. Beautiful Canadian destroyer uh, on, on Nicholas Jackson. I mean, Darby Allen really is incredible. Like I said, he's grown on me as an athlete. And again, Sting nowhere to be found since that suplex off the stage through the tables. What are we doing? Darby's setting up this ladder. Now, is he going to go up top to the, tw the spectacle here of the 20-foot ladder and, and then add another 10 feet, maybe 30 feet in the air and do a, a, a coffin drop onto the, the Young Bucks from top of there? Oh, my Lord. I pray for these guys and doing what they're doing right now because this is nothing fake about this. So I, I literally pray for these guys right now during this match because of the high-risk maneuvers they're going to take. What's it going to take to do more, to go higher, to please the crowd, to do something more high-risk like Sammy Guevara does or, or what other these guys, other guys do on, uh, in, in the independence? What is it going to take and some of what the luchadors do? Really? You get numb to this type of stuff once you continue to do it, like the the Young Bucks and the, the Hardy Boys and Sammy Guevara and, and these high risks and Darby Allen. Unnecessary risk taking. And there's Darby at the top of the ladder. He's got to be a good 25 or 30 feet in the air. Outside Swanton and he misses the Young Bucks and goes through the glasses and the chair and lands on the hard. What the fuck are we doing here? This isn't fucking pro wrestling. All glass stuck in his back, bleeding everywhere. Got about 100 holes in his back right now and blood everywhere. Through the glass, 30 feet in the air, onto the chairs, and now bleeding. Is this pro wrestling? Is this necessary? You're going to call me, oh, oh, geezer, this is it, this is new, this is 2024. Fuck off. This is unnecessary, and this is a shoot right now. This is what you get from me on this channel. Unnecessary. What happened to Sting and what's happening to him now? Is this what we're doing here? They call it a hardcore match. Wow. And now Stinger's to his feet, fighting with uh, uh, Nicholas Jackson outside of the ring. Matthew Jackson inside of the ring. Nicholas in all black. Matthew in all red. Uh, they're tending to, to Darby, who's bleeding from everywhere after a 30-foot uh, swanton that he missed into glass and chairs. Sting has rolled back into the ring now. Both Young Bucks with Sting in the ring. Where's the other two fake Stings? Darby Allen in big trouble. Who knows uh, physically what really happened to him right now. And now you got both EVPs, both Jacksons, both the Young Bucks taking over on a 63-year-old Stinger. 
Again, they're tending to Stinger uh, to Darby Allen at ringside. And now look, they're going to both set Stinger up for a suplex through a table in the ring. Stinger trying to block it. Fighting his way out. Back fists, back elbows. The Stinger looking more like the Joker right now. I'm just telling it like I see it. Double team into the corner. Talking about 45-minute matches with Ric Flair. You're going to compare what he did there to this fucking garbage? Insult, Shivani. Oh, reverse. Goes to kick Stinger and, and, Matthew, and Matthew kicks Nicholas Jackson. Clothesline by Stinger. Both young bucks are down and out. Stinger choking uh, uh, Nicholas Jackson. Slamming him against the apron. Don't compare Stinger's 45-minute match with the Nature Boy back in the day to this garbage. Do I sound a little pissed off and grumpy and cranky right now because it's late? It's 11.45 Eastern Standard Time? No. Because, because I love this shit, but not this. A prone Nicholas Jackson on the table as the stinger is climbing the same ladder that Darby jumped off and is still laying outside of the ring with shards of glass throughout his whole body. And now Jackson has intercepted Sting. They're both on a ladder, but they're both on rungs of the ladder. Nicholas, Matthew Jackson setting up the glass in the corner. Oh, and then a power slam, a, a power bomb through the table. Nicholas puts Sting from the middle of the ladder through a table in the power bomb, and Stinger doesn't sell it, and Stinger's up. The books are falling all over me here in the library in the lounge. Stinger taking out both Jacksons right now. Darby, nowhere to be found from that bump through the glass and through the tables off the ladder. Sting with a beal toss through the glass himself by both young bucks. Sting has been tossed through the glass. Beal toss in the corner. Oh, and a kick in the nuts by Nicholas Jackson. And he's setting him up in his own maneuver. And Nicholas drops Stinger. Here's the cover. One, two. Stinger kicks out. After all that, the 63-year-old kicks out. Nicholas throwing the ladder, kicking it out of the ring. The punishment that Darby and Stinger have taken. Darby hasn't recovered and gotten up yet. Uh, legit or not. The bump was legit. Stinger taking this unnecessary punishment in his last match. What the fuck are we thinking? What is Ricky Steamboat sit, uh, thinking sitting ringside? Right now, the Young Bucks are in complete control. Stinger is laid out in the middle of the ring. Darby's still outside of the ring, uh, bleeding like a stuck pig, literally. As Steamboat six ringside goes to grab the belts. Steamboat's getting involved right now. With Nick Matthew Jackson. Matthew goes to hit Steamboat. Misses Steamboat. Steamboat with a double chop to the throat. Oh, and Steamboat takes a, a chair to the midsection by Nicholas Jackson. Ric Flair's getting in the ring now. What are we doing here? Steamboat's got to be in his 70s. Flair's in his 70s. Sting's in his 60s. Nick Jackson has the belts. He's going to go hit the nature boy. What the fuck are we doing here? What is this geriatric wrestling? I'll give him all credit for getting in the ring. Especially Stinger, who still can hold his own with Steamboat. He can too. A flare, what are we doing? Somebody wake me up when this nightmare is over right now. Flare on a prone Sting as Nicholas is standing above him with the AEW belts. What's going on? What's going to happen here? 11.47 Eastern Standard Time. Is Flair going to get physically involved? Double super kick by the Jacksons on Ric Flair. And Flair is now persona non grata. A 63-year-old and a 70-something-year-old. And bang! A double super kick to the Dragon 2. Stinger's down. Flair's down. Steamboat's down. What the fuck is going on here? The Jacksons. Nick hits Stinger with the belt. Here's the cover. Here's the pin. I almost said put in the books. How is Stinger kicking out from this? This is going too far. This is too much. Steamboat, Flair in their 70s taking super kicks. What the fuck are we doing here tonight? Sting's final match? I didn't expect this. I'll say that to say this. Wow. Uh, a, a crazy bout, a crazy matchup. In my opinion, unnecessary. Certainly not traditional. Uh, 
everybody's getting paid. I guess everybody has their price, like Ted DiBiase said. I can respect it all, but do I agree with it? Is this what I wanted to see for Sting's final match? Double super kick by the Jacksons, the Young Bucks on Stinger, and he doesn't sell it. And he's leaning back, and again, he's looking more like the Joker right now, showing his age as the Stinger. Rest in peace, we're all you guys. God bless. Double goals. I don't mean rest in peace. That's for Ole Anderson and, and Virgil and for Mad Dog Vachon. The Stinger hits his maneuver. Here's the pin on Nicholas, broken up by Matthew, and I mean that. Rest in peace, Butcher Vachon. Virgil. Ole Anderson. Legends in this business. As I look at legends right now, what the hell is going on here? Oh, a nice little reversal by the Jackson, setting up the... Oh, the EVP on Stinger. Here's the cover. Here's the pin. Wait, that was a three count. The referee fucked up right then. At 11.49 Eastern Standard Time, the Young Bucks just pinned Stinger. He hit three. Sting's shoulder didn't come up. Look at the replay. They're not going to call it that way. But it looked like a legitimate three. And I know it's not in the storyline. I get it. That was a pin. Just like Andre the Giant in WrestleMania 3 pinned Hulk Hogan. The shoulder didn't come up on the three count. That's what I just saw. If you want to talk about useless tidbit, tidbits of historical information, that's what you get here. Who else would correlate that on their shows? That's why you come here. Let me kick back a little bit. I got to tell you, this is not what I expected here. We're a little over 25 minutes in since Sting's entrance, 26 minutes in. Here on Revolution, live to live tape, watch along. Again, the double knees to the gym of Sting, the double EVP. Here's the cover. Sting kicks out on one now. The more punishment he takes, uh, the more he's coming back. Darby has not been seen or recovered since the bump from the ladder through the glass on the chairs. It's been Sting against the Young Bucks. Double super kick by the Jacksons on Stinger. Is he going to kick up again on this? Listen to JR. I agree with everything that Jim Ross is saying right now during this match. Not what I expected. I have to say it. They're mocking Stinger. Picking up now. Nicholas. Matthews on a top rope. Going for a, looks like a double spike pile driver. And here comes a blood covered Darby out of nowhere. Pushes Matthew off the rope. Over the top. Through the table. Stinger with the reversal on Nicholas. Drops him, the stinger drop. Here's the cover. I almost said put it in the books. Darby's up now covered in blood. You can see it all, the glass, shards of glass. Nicholas is in the ring. Darby to the top rope. It's going to be a bloody coffin drop. Stinger holds Nicholas. There it is. Boom, the bloody coffin drop in the middle of the ring. Into the Scorpion Deathlock by Stinger on Nicholas Jackson. Could this be it? The crowd is in a frenzy for what it's worth. Wow, the sold-out crowd in Greensboro on their feet. I don't know if you can hear it. They really are in a frenzy. It taps out. Nicholas Jackson taps out. The Young Bucks tap out. I called it. I called it right. I said I wanted Sting and Darby to win. Let him go out as a champion. Where this leaves the titles, tournaments, who cares, who gives a fuck. This was the right call. Not the right match. Not the right way I wanted to see it. But Stinger goes out undefeated and as a world champion, retaining the AEW World Tag Team titles with Darby Allen in a bloody, chaotic, crazy, insane, stupid matchup. Over the EVPs, the Young Bucks, the Jacksons, whatever the fuck you want to call them. 11.53 Eastern Standard Time. The crowd, wow, all I can say is just wow on that match. Not what I expected. I guess that's the reaction they want to get out of the fans. So could I be right? Let's let's see what happens here. Let's let's kick back in the lounge here. It's been a long night. It's been a, it's been a fun night. I had a great time. Flair's on his feet now. I'm sure Steamboat will get in there. It was an insane bout, right? I guess that's all you can ask for, whether you liked it or didn't like it. Carnage all over the fucking ring and ringside. Everybody stayed to the end, including you guys here. Wow. Let's soak it in for a second. 
Let me take a deep breath. Confetti everywhere. Flare, steamboat. Wow. Uh, Jim Ross, Shivani, Excalibur. I'm not sure if I hear Taz. I can't even hear myself think. The crowd is in a frenzy. You could hear uh, the sound in the background. Hope no copyrights. I don't own any of it. This is entertainment purposes. I don't screw with the algorithm. Guys, I can't thank you enough for being here all night. Each segment was anywhere from 15 minutes to this one, 30 minutes, match by match. We've been here for four hours. It's been incredible. It's been a stress reliever, much needed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you come back, spread the word, leave a comment, get in touch with me, man. You, that's what you get here on Chaos Corner as the celebration continues. Sting's final match from the Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina, over 16,000 fans, AEW Revolution. Now, this match may have been garbage, some of it, but the last three matches made this pay-per-view, even for, I didn't agree with the way this match was. Let's, Darby has the mic now. He's talking a little bit. I'm going to let it soak in. Uh, you really can't hear the background here, so soak it in here at the lounge. Soak in the essence of AEW Revolution. They pulled it off. It was a successful pay-per-view tonight. Thank you, Sting. Thank you, Sting. Whew. We're headed to WrestleMania 40 next for the WWE. As we continue here on Chaos Corner. Here's the Stinger. Let's see what he has to say. March of 1988 is when the Stinger started his career. And that's about one of the times that I saw him on the road when I was learning the business, my journey. He's thanking Flair, he's thanking Steamboat in 88. What am I? My math correctly, 25, 26 years old. And now at the big 6-0, went through his whole career, his whole journey. How many of you out there right now can say that? From pillar to post to coast to coast to border to border. There's people there crying right now. Really? Thank you, Greensboro, as we hear the stinger. 11.57 Eastern Standard Time, so we'll, we won't be out of here till midnight. It's been an epic night on an epic channel with an epic host. I appreciate each and every one of you, no matter who watches. Just know that I know. This is definitely a time to give thanks for sure. Thank you to one of the greatest tag team partners. Give thanks, Stinger. Thanks to the Lord. Our Lord, Jesus Christ, our one and only Savior. He said he would die in the last match, but he's still breathing. Praising Darby. Still a risk taker. Again, after all that, to talk to the crowd, it's a nice, beautiful touch, but the reality of selling as well. I always keep that in mind. All right, fans, it's almost midnight Eastern Standard Time. We're two minutes away from midnight. I'm going to sign off as the Stinger signs off. And they still undefeated and retain the tag team titles. Where does AEW go from here with this? Good night. God bless. Stay safe. And I'll say that to say this. Don't you dare miss it.